Welcome back to Virginia this morning live on CBS 6. Time to make the magic happen with the kitchen magician. Chef Asar Ariank is with us today. Awesome to see you. Likewise. Welcome back home. His delicious pan seared sea bass with baby potatoes mm. and asparagus with a citrus hollandaise sauce is on the menu today. Mm. You have everything laid out and ready to go. Yes. And you've got one iron skillet over mm -hmm. here. You got looks like some butter melted in there. There you go. And over here you got hot oil in a frying pan. Yes. So we got quite a few things. We're gonna be multitasking okay. in the kitchen. So I'm gonna definitely put y'all to work. Down the line. Okay, so what we have here, we have some sea bass. So this pan a little fillet. I'm gonna put some cracked sea salt on that. Oh wow. And, and I was going to say, you're a little low on sea salt, but you put some on there. Yeah, you got some on there. Yeah. And I'm going to put um, just some zest of this lemon on here. Now, Asar, and we've had you, you know, in the, the holding pattern all morning long. Uh-huh. We talk often about, like, letting your uh, meat, meats come up to temperature. You remember. But it's yes. cold but, in here. <laughs> but what about fish? Fish is good. It's always good to, to have your um, protein um, come up to room temperature because what mm -hmm. that does is it allows the, the, eat, the heat to distribute evenly and quicker through the product. So now that we have that going, I'm going to... you got a lot of salt on there, too. Yeah, you're gonna, the salt is going to form a nice little crust on mm. the outside of that mm -hmm. and it's going to make some nice crispiness. So you think about it, we have about maybe, what, three quarters of an inch thickness. So you have the salt coating the outsides of it, and that flavor is gonna, it's gonna be nice and even oh, throughout. A lot of things in. Let me yeah. go back to Jessica's question, because room temperature. Our mm -hmm. studios, because they got TV lights in here, they keep it frigid in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cold in here. Uh, does that matter? The, uh, just whatever well, the room is. That yeah, is whatever the room is, <laughs> as long as it's not a freezer, we're good to go. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we have these little baked potatoes, and of course, I blanched them already earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put them in this hot cast iron skillet. Oh, they're waiting down the line. Yeah. How okay. long do you have to blanch the potatoes? I would say blanch them off for probably like, you know, 12 minutes probably works perfectly. Okay. And I have some fresh thyme here. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that on Potato there. Potato thyme. Potato thyme. There you go. <laughs> and of course, I'll, you know, the Himalayan yep. sea salt. Oh, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Don't be afraid for that sea nope. salt. And then some cracked black pepper. Mm -hmm. And this is a combination of, you know, black, red, green peppercorns. So you get a nice little blend of flavor. So mix that around a little bit. Turn it up. And then what I like to do is I turn them face down. Okay. That's going to give you some nice caramelization, give you some nice crispiness, mm -hmm. and you'll have the uniform color throughout all of them. And once you know that side is cooked nicely, once you turn it over, you know that that's it. You just let that other side go. So now, of course, when he's in the restaurant, he flips them in there and they come up face down. They all win. Oh, but at, for, for TV in purpose, unison, for yes. instructional purpose, he manually did it for us. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Turn oh, that over. You see that nice crispiness we got oh, right there yeah. over too. Oh, yeah. The nice crispiness. Okay, and so while all of that is going on okay. over here, I have some egg yolk over here. We're gonna make the citrus hollandaise sauce. So I got the yolk. I have a little bit of lemon juice I'm gonna add to that. You've left me wide open for one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite puns. Okay. That's no yolk. Sauce? That's no yolk. That's no yolk. <laughs> and that's uh, a little he's bit. He's already, of, yeah. and that's no yolk. That's a little <laughs> bit of um, I added some Shall orange. Shall we move on? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you cracked it. And I got yeah, some. Yeah, I know. Oh, they All just right. keep on coming. Yeah. And I got some cracked black like pepper yeah. in there. <laughs> going in. Yes. Okay, so right. now. Do I whip it? Yeah, you go ahead and whip. You're gonna get whip your cardio. Good. You're gonna get your cardio in. So. Oh. Uh, drizzle. This is some warm butter right here. I'm just going to drizzle that in a little at a time, and you're just going to get your cardio in. So, is a two-person job. Yeah, unless you're at the restaurant by yourself and you put a, a wet rag on the table and sit the bowl on it so it can hold. Yeah, but who's going to drizzle while you're uh, whipping it? Oh, you got one hand you got to drizzle with, and the other one you got to whip oh, with. See, I'm not you get one of those bowls that's sticky on the bottom. There you go. And if you don't have that bowl, you just use the rag. And when that arm feels like it's going to fall off, then you, you can stop. Keep going, Jess. You can do it. You're doing <laughs> you great. Do I'm going to have one Popeye arm at the end of this. <laughs> All right. We're almost there. See that How nice much thickness? Oh, you're not putting the viscosity. The milk yeah. solids are not going to go in there. <sighs> so that we're just getting all of the butt. We're almost there. Okay. And we're done. Ooh, that arm's You did great. Now. Thank you. So look at that. You see the nice mm -hmm. thickness. And that, that thickness right there, that's the viscosity that you're looking for. That's just a fancy word for the consistency oh, that we want right there. 
So friends watching right now are a little concerned. I think I messed up my hairdo over here with all that <laughs> stirring. Um, they're concerned. There, there were raw eggs in there. So yeah. what happened here? Did the butter? Well, take we had care the hot, you know the warm butter, okay. and that's why I, that's why I can't put it all in there at one mm -hmm. time or just scramble Curdle. it. Yeah. Yep. Scr so scramble. I have to um, drizzle it in a little bit at a time. All right. That's cooking up nice. We're almost where we need to be on that. All right. Well, that's nice. So this is happening. A glaze on the fish at this point. Yeah. Haters are just uh, face down doing their thing. They're mm -hmm. doing their thing. They're almost where they need to be. So, and now yeah. what we're going to do is take these. Have a few spare of those? Yeah. <laughs> we got some spare, spare asparagus in there. A spare. So, these don't take any time at all to cook. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just hit them with a crack. And a crack of this. Now, the asparagus, all the only taste they're going to get is the oil and, and the salt maybe and a little bit of the fish. That but then we got there. the, the nice... The nice citrus ah, hollandaise that just hollandaise. Just whipped up that we're going to go ahead and put on there. Just whipped up for us. I need to make right, another bowl go. and use the other arm. See that nice color that we got on those potatoes now. That's exactly Beautiful. what we're looking for. And that's good to go. And because you blanched them, they're that's already it. Well, yep, soft. You're just going to get some nice crispiness on mm -hmm. them. And they're good to go. So you don't have to do much of anything. There you go, Bill. Look at you. Look at him. It only took three years. And there he is. <laughs> <laughs> We have about a minute left. Okay, okay. so we're going to do the plating up okay. portion of it now. So you mm -hmm. see here we have a nice um, lemon mm -hmm. and we have um, some orange slices. So what we're going to do is take take this asparagus. That really didn't take long at all. Not at all. Take asparagus. asparagus to go right there. This is a fancy but easy like weeknight dinner. Definitely. And then we're going to take these potatoes. Make a nice little stage for the Take fish. these crispy potatoes and put them on the asparagus for dinner tonight. Right. That's looking great, pal. Mm. All right. If you had any leftovers, you could make a quiche later. There we go. And then what we're going to do at this point now is we have that nice oh, sear on man. that sea bass. Look at him. We'll sit that right wow, there. Sir. We have the... Citrus hollandaise. Anybody else's mouth go ahead. start watering? Are you going to put, oh, you're putting it on oh. the fish too. I thought it was just going to go on the asparagus. Mm -hmm. so you're going to put it all over. And then what we're going to do now is we have, of course, we have a little parsley. We'll make rain on there. And then I have a little balsamic so, glaze. Ooh. If you came back in a couple of weeks, we can make hollandaise for the holidays. And there you go. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> ba boom. Psh. There you go, Bill. <laughs> I heard crickets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that so looks beautiful. beautiful. Gorgeous. And it's um, you know, very simple and like you said, if you wanted to do something at home and um, you know, show off to the guests, mm -hmm. you can make a really upscale dish. You know, if you go to any restaurant, you'll see sea bass is really up there. You know, if you, know. you were going to end up doing um, quite a few little fillets, you mm -hmm. need to have some room in that pan, right? Don't Well, you have this we had plenty of room here yeah. because and I did that because I wanted to have enough heat for that asparagus to um, cook in there quickly. Oh, the mm -hmm. necklace fork is coming mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. Dig in there, girl. All right, ready? Okay. While she's doing that, let me remind you, Chef Azor has left us with the recipe, and we're going to mm -hmm. post it later on in our show. It will be there later on today on our website by 3 p.m. today, wtvr.com slash vtm. Mm -hmm. We'll share some final thoughts, wrap up today's show, and see you on the other side of the break with some fresh mm. oh, that's the ticket team. That looks great. Mm -hmm. Only one fork. Sorry, buddy. Oh, she didn't even Sorry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. She didn't bring me a fork. Oh. This is a new style of eating. <laughs> eating with tongs. To eating with tongs. I didn't have a fork, but I found some tongs. Bill tongs. Oh, put, yeah, put some more holidays. Oh, there that's a go. perfect bite. That's yeah. what that is. <laughs> oh, oh, boo. That's a fail. <laughs> All right, fingers coming in. There you go. There you go. Um, Asar, speaking of perfect bite, we were just talking before we got started about Thanksgiving. You've got a delicious menu available for pre-order, folks. You can find it on his social media handles. Um, it's it looks scrumptious. Well, thank you. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything on there for everyone. So definitely check it out. 
You can find me on Facebook, um, The Kitchen Magician, or on Instagram, at Kitchen Magician Catering. Yes, incredible local business right here, making Thanksgiving easy for everyone. I saw apple crumb. I saw sweet potato on that menu. I saw prime. I mean, it, it had it all. All right. All right, so get in uh, somebody asked me the other day, said, when you have those chefs on, that food's plastic that they oh, show on the, the camera, necklace. right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not on our show. No. Nope. It's real. No. Nope. Just look we, at Bill's uh, we, apron. You'll see a right, little bit of it on there. And I got a little smuts on the apron. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I made a mess. Oh, this it's really is too good. much fun. Thanks so much, friends, for being with us oh, this morning. I'm yeah. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. It'll be Wednesday. Man, holiday. Ho <laughs> holiday. Holidays of Hollandaise right from the bowl. Thanks yep. for being with us, friends. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Wow, it's good. Mm.